Hey guys, Pablo with BND and for today's top reddit post we're gonna be taking a look at the best entitled parents of the week. In an update in our $530 gift certificate giveaway, we actually gonna be running that at 5,000 subscribers and the only thing you need to do to participate is subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below. And now with our video. Hot cough to my face because she doesn't know how to take care of her kids. Forgive any wrong English, I'm sorry. I am an 18 year old Chinese Brit girl, yesterday I was at Wells Comic Con, but due to bad weather I had stayed in the cafe while my boyfriend went to get some stuff done and back at the con. I had been in the cafe for about half an hour when this family group comes in, with 6 to 7 kids aged 6 to 12. They're playful at first, but it's fine. But this is a very small cafe and they begin to get too rowdy, knocking tables, drinks, climbing on furniture, etc. Everyone was visibly annoyed. While the parental guardians didn't seem to care, 45 minutes into this, I have had enough and said to the kids calmly but firm, Excuse me, this is a cafe, not a playground. If you could please calm down. Who the hell do you think you're talking to them like that? And this woman, I could not tell if mother or grandmother was screaming about how it's her responsibility, not mine, to tell the kids what to do. Ma'am, I don't mean to start an argument, but you're not doing very good being responsible for them. Everyone's uncomfortable and shut up you chink. They're not yours to tell what to do. At this point she's standing up and getting in my face. I am still in my seat. You wanna fight or something? Please calm down. I'm not trying to You want this cough in your face? Please just look after your kids. She's ranting and raving about how no one has a right to speak to their children like this and why it doesn't matter how they're acting, cause they're not my kids. It matters cause everyone's uncomfortable. While the coffee shop owner tries to calm her down, she apologizes to the owner before proceeding to throw her hot coffee in my face, along with all over my work. It wasn't hot enough to cause burns, but it definitely was hot enough to hurt. <sighs> Very charming, miss. Thank you for that. I stayed in my seat cleaning up my stuff to avoid any more argument. What do you want to do about it? Going to fight me? Ah, uh, did I get all your papers all wet? You know where the police are. If they can't get me, I'm leaving. Girl, don't tell my kids what to do and I'm not scared of police. Before getting all her family to leave, she proceeds to walk out with her family as my boyfriend comes into the cafe and sees me drenched in hot coffee with everyone else in the cafe comfort me and help me clean up. She's just left. He runs out and screams. Who did that? And she smugly walks to him. It was me. What are you gonna do, little man? Hit me? I fight back before raising her own fist, continuing to look for a fight. He screamed at her before coming back to care for me. Because of all of the shouting, it caught security's attention. They detained her and security called the police. I have told police what happened, they took my info down, and we also reveal security footage. They will be calling me later today for an official statement. They already have this woman identified. We plan to press charges for assault. I will edit the post for updates if I have any. Update 1, 28 April, 3 p.m. Just got off the phone with the police. I need some discussion with my family to decide clearly what plan of action I want to take and they will be calling me at 5 p.m. tomorrow for my official decision. I also found out it's grandmother, not mother. Update 2, 28 April, 11 p.m. I've had a talk down to my family and we've decided we want to persecute her for common assault. Since I didn't have lasting injuries, compensation may not be an option, but persecution for common assault will be the best option as of now. So she doesn't feel she's won or can just get away with doing this to anyone. Waiting for tomorrow's call. Entitled Mom almost steals my 800 euro worth gaming laptop. EM Entitled Mom, EK Entitled Kid, me, me. Note, I live in Latvia, small country in Northern Europe. English my second language so excuse me for bad grammar. Story. I am a teenager, 15, and at my current age I cannot earn any money on my own, except in summer. So the laptop that the EM almost stole is really important to me, and if I lost it my parents would kill me. So this happened to me last week. I was at Teenager Center, a place where teenagers can go after school and do whatever they want to do. And by the way, small kids can go there too. I took my laptop with me because I needed to do a school project. After a while I needed to go to the men's room. I left the laptop on the chair I was sitting on while I went to the bathroom. 
When I came back, this happened. I see EM and EK hold my laptop and staring at it. Then I came closer to them and say, Why are you holding my laptop? Because I saw it sit in that chair. You know this is my laptop? No, it's mine. I saw it first. I am repeating again, that laptop's mine. I bought it with my own earned money. How can you prove that it's yours? Turn it on. I turned the computer off so my battery wouldn't drain. Entitled Mom turns on the laptop. See, it shows my name. How do I know it's your name? I show my ID card. In Latvia, we can make ID cards instead of passports. The ID card clearly says Robert. Entitled Mom realized that she messed up, start thinking up excuses why she needs the laptop. My son needs it more than you. Then I realized that EK was sitting right behind her the whole freaking time. He was about 9 years old. Then I, a 6 foot tall, not that buff, but kind of muscular 15 year old, start saying, Give me back my laptop, or you are going to have some problems. She clearly gets a bit scared, so she backs up and gives the laptop to her son and say, RUN! But almost everyone knows gaming laptops are kinda heavy, so Entitled Kid is slowing down and almost drops it. I start chasing him. I caught him immediately and snatched the laptop from him. Then Entitled Mom runs towards me, almost falls because she's wearing high heels, and says, What did you do to my child, you idiot? Then she just yelled for security. Obviously, they came almost immediately. Then she started to tell security that I had assaulted her and EK. But then I explain what happened and security says that he'll deal with her and I can go home. I heard that she got in real trouble, but I don't want to deal with her ever again. P.S. Love you r slash. Edit. This might be annoying, but I want to thank everybody for recognition and likes, but most importantly, thank you kind stranger who gave me gold. Entitled mom yells at me for showing off my underwear and thinks I'm someone else. So I don't have a washer or dry in my apartment, so I usually take large loads of clothes to the local laundromat. Something to note about me is that I'm a plus size woman who has a baby face, so I look like I'm 16 when I'm really 24. On with the story. I'm getting my clothes from dryer I had to use. There are a few tables around the laundromat, so anyone who wanted to fold clothes could do so freely. I had claimed a table and began folding away my clothes. Everything seemed okay until this lady and her child came in. The mom and daughter was a night and day comparison. The mom wore really expensive looking clothing while the child wore what looked like dollar store clothes. The mom was really strict and I feel bad for the kid because I knew what it was like getting dragged around and do boring things without anything to do to eliminate the boredom. I had on headphones as well and listening to music since it makes the task of folding clothes a lot more enjoyable. And these are Pink Beats headphones as well. I started folding my underwear and I was trying to be discreet as possible, but I had so many to wash and I had a stack of nicely folded ones in front of me along with other clothing. You couldn't see them unless you approached me and was looking for them. Well, the daughter was running around the laundromat and stopped for a moment and stared at me. I had noticed and gave her a smile before she ran off the laundromat and the mom was furious. I could hear her through my headphones and she was yelling at the kid for running off. The mom grabbed the kid and told her to sit down and shut up and I was finishing my folding, the woman approached me. Excuse me? Yes? You should be ashamed of yourself. For what? Not only you're showing off your undergarments but you're dressed like a slut. You're making my daughter feel bad. I was wearing jean shorts but were 5 inches longer than my fingers. I don't know if anyone had that rule in school about shorts and length but I basically followed that rule. But I also was wearing a baggy hoodie that was covering my body. I must have given her the most confused expression ever. So she points to my folded and clean underwear in the pile. You need to hide those, any man can walk by and see them. Have you no shame? Ma'am, I'm just folding my clothes. As soon as I'm done, I'm putting them in my basket and I'm leaving. Well, go faster, you fat slut. I should call your mother and tell her what a disgrace you are. Do you even know who I am? Of course, Melody. That's not my name. You have me confused with someone else. Don't lie to me. It was at that point I finished up and started loading my clothes away, but the mom actually reached out and took my beat headphones from around my neck. I had lowered them to talk to the crazy cow and she demanded that I listen to her. I reached over and snatched them back. Leave me alone. I don't know you and I'm not Melody. I'm calling your mother. 
She grabbed her phone and began calling some poor woman. I grabbed my basket and began to leave, but the woman grabbed my arm and I hear, Hello, Susan. It's Karen. Listen, I have your daughter here. She said those words and the woman's face went from red to pale. I guess the woman said something like, My daughter is here in front of me, or something along those lines. She immediately let me go and apologized to Susan over the phone. The woman turned to me and I was pissed. I stood there with a smirk. Told you, I said. And by the way, your kid left the laundromat again. I stayed and the woman turned and saw her daughter gone. I honestly do not blame the kid for running away. EM tries to take our Avengers Endgame tickets. Hey all, time for another tale of an EM who thought going to see the Endgame on opening night without tickets was a great idea. Me, myself, BF, lovable Nugget boyfriend, EM, and title mom are random person in the line. So, Endgame came out on the 24th for us here in Australia and holy smokes, it was good. Being that it was premiere night, the sessions were all sold out on my cinema. Luckily, me and my boyfriend bought ours a few days beforehand. We're all lighting up and this woman and her three kids came up to random people in our line asking if they had any spare tickets for them since it was sold out. She came over to us and this is what unfolded. Can you please give us those tickets? You'd be doing all of us a huge favor. Uh, what do we get in her return? Uh, everlasting hope and guidance from our Lord and Savior, of course. So, basically nothing? How dare you! The Word of God is worth more than anything in this world. Again, basically nothing. Get lost, please. Stop harassing people and just go to see it tomorrow. No, we're seeing it tonight and that's final. Now, my boyfriend also bought his $200 Ant-Man helmet and one of the kids seemed interested in it. He sort whined that he wants it and EM thought in her tiny brain that she did try to take it from him. Bad move. What the hell are you doing? If we can't have these tickets, then give us a mask now. She kept trying to grab it and finally one of the workers came over with the man to ask them to leave or they'd be banned from the premise. Funny enough, there's only one cinema where I live, so she bolted off with her kids the moment he mentioned the word banned. Here's the picture of the helmet. Bam! Hey guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that bell notification size, and give me a thumbs up or down on that video, and leave me a comment. Thank you very much, and thanks all the guys who submitted that to Entitled Parents, and I hope you guys have a great day and a great week. Take care.